Judy, the I-Team tonight has obtained Chicago police alerts sent citywide after at least seven incidents in which handheld police radios were among items taken from the lobbies of district stations. Some officers consider their handheld radio more important than a gun. And tonight, those radios in criminal hands are a concern and a threat. And it checks stolen. It is the lifeline for Chicago police, so critical to law enforcement that CPD is spending millions to digitally scramble or encrypt radio signals, preventing non-police from hearing official and sensitive information. I'd rather go out without a gun than without a radio. Former Chicago and suburban lawman Bill Kushner, ABC7 police affairs consultant, tonight says there is a sizable threat from the theft of these encrypted radios. According to this red alert, thefts of department radios have been reported in June, August, and September from several Chicago police district headquarters, also resulting in this internal CPD memo obtained today by the I-Team. A firearm can't be used in every situation. However, a radio can be used to get more help to summon an ambulance, to summon fire crews for other special needs. Court records state this 30-year-old alleged gang associate grabbed a police radio off the 12th district desk and ran. He's facing charges along with this 23-year-old man whose place of birth is reported as Venezuela. That is one feeder nation for the thousands of migrants who have been living in police stations and other city spaces. It tells me that the street gangs in Chicago are, in fact, making an outreach to the immigrants and are trying to utilize them to gain police equipment, to harass the officers. While some radios have been recovered, former Chicago Police Chief of Detectives Gene Roy tonight says those still missing will either run out of batteries or be remotely deactivated. It's going to be a, just a huge undertaking. It's going to disrupt it because you can't just re-encrypt re one radio. You have to re-encrypt the whole system. The I-Team today asked Chicago police officials whether these radio thefts are being investigated in relation to the migrant population in police districts. CPD told us the department is taking this matter seriously and investigating thoroughly, but officials did not directly answer the question of whether migrants living in crowded police lobbies could be related to the thefts. They did say, however, and they confirmed they will be remotely disabling anything that's been stolen. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.